friend. You won't believe what I realized today. You're like the luckiest kid ever. Why? Because your mom's not a quilter. Seriously, you've hit the jackpot. So get this, I'm always covered in these sneaky threads. It's like I have a magical invisible spider following me around, but nope, it's just my mom and her quilting stuff. And guess what? All the scissors in the house are unlocked up. I guess they're VIP scissors only for fabric. Can you believe it? I can't even cut my PBNJ into cool shapes. Or cut up my coloring books. And the tablecloth? Forget about it. You spill a little juice, and suddenly it's a big emergency because it's her favorite quilt in disguise. I have to eat like a ninja to avoid quilt catastrophes. But the worst is when we hop into the car. Every single time. We have to make a stop at the fabric store. Mom says it'll just be a second, but trust me, that second turns into a fabric looking hours. I think I am at least three years older from waiting in those boring stores. And Saturday morning cartoons? Nope, not for me. My mom's got this quilting obsession on YouTube, so I'm stuck watching threads being woven into quilt magic. Meanwhile, I'm just here wanting to see some goofy cartoons and eat cereal. Oh, and Walmart's princess quilt? Forget about it. My mom can apparently make a better one. I don't know about you, but I'm not convinced. Show me the princess quilt, mom, show me. Now, about the candy situation, you think your mom's strict? Try being in her sewing room. Yeah, I get to play, but it's a strict no candy zone. Play in the corner and we'll go to the store later. I know what that means. So, my friend, count your lucky stars that your mom's not a quilter. No thread troubles, no scissor sorrows, and definitely no candy crackdowns. You're living the dream, pal.